Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John Cohen and I have the great pleasure of speaking with Bill Jordan. We do. It's the... a great pleasure. <laughs> well, I'm, my I'm so pleasured right now. Is it now. speaking to you? <laughs> hey, Bill, uh, does your brain work like mine in in the sense that I need to write something down? If I don't write it down, it's it's almost as if it doesn't become real. What I'm thinking of is the honeydew list, uh -huh. right? So I've got this one project that's on the porch that uh, she asked me to do, and honest to goodness, it's been three weeks, and I just never wrote it down. It, it, if I write it down, which I think I've been trying not to do real hard, uh, if I write it down, I'll get to it eventually, and because it's there. It's bugging me. It's looking me in the face. Now, I can right. go out on the porch, and this little, you know, the the bottom of the chair is looking me in the face, too, every day. <laughs> But for some reason, it's not the same as the list. Yeah. Well, well, they, why, do, why is the honeydew list so important? Well, um, for me, I kind of combine list. I, it's just a to do. So it might be a honeydew, and then it's stuff that I want to do. So I'll create a list. I've got a thing about legal pads and spiral notebooks and pens. So I love that stuff. Uh, I try to keep the I keep uh, a pad a paper on our on my my nightstand, and I've got one on my wife's nightstand just in case she wants to write something down. We keep one over by it as we're leaving the kitchen, like to go out to the store where we write the grocery list down. I've got one by my end table here in our den where I will write down, and that's the combined one. If she wants me to check on, uh, you know, calling the the recycling company, what days they're changing, you know, whatever. I got okay, I got to do that. Well, what do I need to do? I need to deposit a check at the bank. I need so here's my problem with it. I do need to write it down, but more importantly, I need to then read the list I wrote. <laughs> this is what I find happens. I write the list. Anybody can write the list. You gotta read the list and then knock them off. Now, I know people, and I've done it myself, where you've got your list of things to do. You didn't write down one of them, like vacuum the den. So then you vacuum the den, and then you write it on your list and so you can mark it off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bill, I have to tell you that uh, I think uh, one, of, one, of, one of the things you should put on one of those to-do lists is to have a family meeting of all of those pads that are scattered <laughs> all, <laughs> over the place. I don't know why I love them. I just, I like, I love walking through Staples, you know, or Office Depot or whatever. And just yeah. like, I, it makes just walking in the store makes me feel organized, something I am certainly not. But right. I love pads, legal pads, spiral notebooks, a good pen. I just love them. So, what will be a, a case in point is we'll come up with a list for the grocery store. And I like going to the grocery store. Uh, because I spend less than my wife does. <laughs> so I like going to the grocery store, but I'll ask for a list. So she'll give me a list and it'll be, and, it, and this is this is a sidetrack thing, but she will write down like tomatoes. And if I don't look and review that list with her prior to going, I, I don't know what, you know, tomatoes, canned, fresh, how many? What kind of tomatoes? Write it. I mean, give me some detail. Need some. I need the info. And I don't know if there's a husband in the, on the planet that can go to the grocery store without texting his wife a question or a photo or whatever that might be. But here's my bad habit about the grocery list. I will go there, and, and it might say tomatoes on the list. Well, I'll hit the deli first and get a pound of sliced ham, and then I'll go down into the uh, produce department and I'll get a jar of dill pickle relish or something and then i'll make the turn and get some sparkling water and i'll get all the way to the other side of the grocery store before i look at the list to see that it now says tomatoes and i got to go all the way back over to the uh, produce department so it's not a matter of lists are important but from my own personal experience it's equally important to refer to the list yeah, well, I, I agree. I, I have a I have a, a list. I'm not going to let everybody see what's on it, uh, but I actually uh, one of my habits, 
is that once a week, I take all these pieces of paper that's on my desk and my old list and I rewrite the list. And quite frankly, what I should really do so I don't have to rewrite it all the time is put it into a, a, like an Excel spreadsheet or on a, a, note, a, a notepad on the computer so that I can just move them around. And there are programs uh, that do that. In fact, I have one. But it seems that that's form, far more uh, uh, threatening uh, because it's there in digital form than rewriting the list. Also, rewriting the list helps me. I, I actually change the priorities. But I've got one thing on here, organized family photos. Uh, if it were on the computer, it would have said put it in 1904 because it just, it, it's the kind of thing, every so often I get to it. Uh, as John knows, uh, we had a project where I uh, converted all of our uh, uh, videotapes and uh, eight millimeter Super 8 to digital form. And that was about a three month project, but that still didn't take care of organizing all the photos that my wife and I have been cramming onto the computer for, for years. And it's just yeah. it's daunting. But uh, without the list, I guess I would forget a lot of things so that it does help. But I think, you know, too, if I may, and I, I'm getting semi, semi serious about this, you know, we've talked before about the Pareto principle, the 80 20 rule. If I have a list of 10 things to do, you know, barring that they're not super duper urgent, if I can get 20% of that list done, so two items out of the 10, I will make an 80% impact on my day. Mm. And that's how I look at it. If I've got five things to do, 20% is one thing on that list. If I can get something done every day, that's the goal. Yeah. You know, if I can get more than that, that's great. But if I can get 20% good done off of that list, then I will make an 80% impact on my day and still have time for whatever I want to do. Sometimes I want to knock out everything. And depending on the urgency of it, sometimes you got to do maybe not all 10, but you've got to do seven or eight of them, depending on urgency. But on a regular day to day kind of a list of things to do, um, you know, I, I think that 20 80 rule is 80 20 rule Pareto principle works pretty well. But yeah, a list, I like them, but I've got to look at them. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, I guess my pr biggest problem is that I have too many lists. <laughs> I write something down over here, write something down else over there. It, it, when we get the grocery list, we have one grocery list. We know where it is all the time, and it really works. But that's her yeah. list. My list, I'm, they're all over on little bits of pieces of paper. Well, like you know, this, the, the two like of you this, guys you know. have been to high school reunions. Maybe, um, and I haven't gone to any of them uh, back in uh, Brooklyn, but... Um, uh, maybe what we ought to do is have a reunion for all of our lists, and then we could have like a, a list get together, uh, okay, for three guys who, lucky if they could get twenty percent of the list ever done. But the yeah. problem is we have too many lists. We don't over. Except actually, that is true, John. We have one list. Linda and I have one list in the, on the dining room table, where you know, anytime something's running out or uh, we think ahead a little bit, we write it down there. And I'm the one that does most of the shopping. In fact, I go oftentimes after the gym, everything is really uh, empty at that time. So I run over to uh, Ralph's or one of the local supermarkets and I pick stuff up on the way home from the gym. So by nine o'clock in the morning, whatever was on the list has been picked up. But that's a pretty, well, that's a, probably the most reliable list that exists in our family in one I'm place. Sure there's an app. I'm sure there's an app. Uh, Evernote or whatever, <laughs> all your lists together. But you know, you're right. I will sit there. We'll be out and about somewhere, and I'll I'll grab my phone. And it's something I've got to do, so I'll go under notes, notes app, and I'll type in a list of make sure you check this, do this, and this, and then I forget to look at my notes app, or I will email myself to do, and I'll write down a list and email it to myself and never click on it again, <laughs> or write it down a little legal pad or right. a spiral notebook. Or best yet, the back of the cable bill. <laughs> you know, there's just, there's just. I need a list of where I've put all my lists. Well, I yeah. think, if I list my list, then it, then then that would be. I think you that need be, add add that to your to do list. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think all right, that's I think in the point for uh, uh, Bill, uh, we really ought to need to release you now so that you can go find all of those lists. And try to combine them, and that should be uh, 
probably uh, take the next two or three weeks before we uh, meet again. Easily. <laughs> all right, listen, the best list of all, guys, oh. is the list of best practices in Bill's book. Thank you. Yes. And if you yeah. haven't actually... Which, which is available, Bill, at what? What, yeah, ever, what, buy, even, what uh, website? It off of uh, Amazon.com. Yeah. Yeah. Free shipping and all that stuff. It's like $12.99. Uh, right now, I'm up to 46 five-star reviews and ratings, so I'm very fortunate with that. Nothing but five-star reviews and ratings. That's um, great. 15 practices that when I use them, and I do read one a day so I don't forget them and I practice them, uh, I do have a not drama-free but less dramatic life and a calmer life and a more productive life. And I think we can still do that as we get older, as we get to choose a little bit more about how we spend our time and what we put our focus on. Uh, I am very flattered and honored um, by the, the great comments that, that this book has gotten. And I really, I quite honestly, selfishly, I wrote the book for me. And I wrote it for my 16-year-old self. So it's not just for baby boomers. I think everybody can benefit from this. And a lot of it is, and I think you guys would agree, it's, it's just old cliches, but looking at them in a different way. You know, cliches have been around for so long that we don't think about them anymore, whether well, it be the rule or whatever else. It's it's more than cliches. It's good advice. It's good. I appreciate it's it. Classically, uh, uh, you know, traditional advice. So we know stuff. we know we know that we can get this at Amazon. But as long as we're in the uh, shameless plug uh, portion of our uh, 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 messaging here, uh, where can people? get this wonderful mug. Oh. Yes, well, I've got a website set up for that. That's uh, Bill Jordan, embracetheboom.com. Jordan spelled J-O-R-D-A-N, like my cousin Michael. And um, so Bill Jordan, embracetheboom.com, and there's links to the mug. They're 20 bucks, it's a 16-ounce mug. I mean, it's pretty bulletproof. So, uh, And it's free shipping, by the way, to anywhere in the U.S., uh, continental U.S. That is, and it, and it, the best Somebody, thing is, it's good for lefties. Book in the whole bit, right? And righties, right? It is a ambidextrous cup. Yep. Okay, you never lose the message, and that alone is worth every penny. So why don't we now that uh, we've run out of shameless plugs until you write your next book? Uh, so until that time, how do we sign off, Bill? Well, we say to our fellow baby boomers, live your life. Forget your age and embrace the boom. Here, here. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.